Hi, this is Isha. You're watching a video with JustTutors.com. In today's video, we'll be learning about statistics. In this, we'll cover tally marks and then class interval. Let's begin this lesson with some warm-up questions. You can pause the video here to try these questions. In the first one, we need to find the frequency of children who travel by bus. So here for bus, we see the frequency is given 4. In the second one, which mode of traveling has the minimum frequency? So for train, the frequency is 1. So train is 1, which is least preferred out of all. In the third one, what is the difference between maximum and minimum frequency? So the maximum frequency is 9 for car and 1 for train. So the difference between 9 and 1 is 8. So this is the answer. If you have got the same answers, it's really wonderful that you have good knowledge of statistics. And now we are good to start with tally marks. Tally marks is a quick way to keep track on the numbers in groups of 5. Here we draw one vertical line for 1, two vertical lines for 2, three vertical lines for 3, four vertical lines for 4, and if we want to show 5, we draw a diagonal line crossing the 4 that we have previously drawn. So this is how we draw or write 5 when we are working with tally marks. Now if you want to write 6, you write 5 the same way and then you put 1. Then for 7, 5 and 2, 8 is 5 and 3 and so on. You can see for 10 we have two such groups of 5 and 5 each. This is how we work with tally. Let's look how we can work with tally with one example. A survey on the usage of phone in a day that is number of hours was done on 18 employees in an organization and you can see there are observations given here that is one person uses his phone for two hours someone is using for three hours someone is using for one hour and so on so when we are working with tally to make our work little simple first we can arrange them in order either from ascending to descending or descending to ascending it's your wish so in the first column we write smartphone usage with number of hours that is 1, 2 and 3 because 3 is the maximum number given here. Then we put tally marks. If we see 1 here once, we put 1. Again we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we have a set of 5 and then 1 more. In total we have the frequency of 6. For 2, we have a frequency of 8, so we have a set of 5 and then 3 more. For 3, we have total 4, so frequency is 4, so here we have written 4. And you can see that here the total is 18, that is sum of all the frequencies given. This is how we show our data with the help of tally marks. Now let's look what is class interval. The grouping used to group the value in a given data are called classes or sometimes class intervals. The least value of the class is called lower class limit. The greater value of the class is called upper class limit. So if I'm talking about a class, for example, 10 to 19, so here the 10 is lower class limit and 19 is upper class limit. We can just match it here. Lower class limit is 10, upper class limit is 19. Now if you want to know what is the class width, so it's upper class limit minus lower class limit. So if you think about 19 take away 10, so the answer is 9 and you can see the class width remains same for all the classes. And these are the corresponding given frequencies, for example. With this, we are good to start with practice questions. You can pause the video here to try these practice questions. And when you are done with it, make sure that you check your answers with the answer slides provided at the end. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit JustTutors.com.